What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and it is time once again to open up some Pokemon cards. We got two more Hidden Fates tins. We usually open three, but we actually got some fan mail as well with some cards. So we're going to check out. It's interesting. There is a, I did open up the package already, and there's a set of gloves on it and notes and uh, a handful of cards. Ooh, whoa, reverse <laughs> Tortuga. When we opened up Unified Minds, I was like the main card that we're looking for. It's like impossible to find a specific reverse, uh, especially when it's, even if it's just uncommon. Uh, so we're gonna get into that. We'll get into that halfway through the video. Let's start by getting these two tins open. All right, we are good to go. Ah, it's been a while since actually we've done our last opening, so really excited to get back into it. Uh, we're kind of waiting for like the next biggest product, which is going to be that trainer's toolkit. I did just get an email notifying me that my pass, my uh, shipment has, or my order just shipped. So hopefully we do get it Friday. Worst case scenario, we'll open it on Monday. But uh, really excited. That's got to be like the best modern product featuring double alternate art Dedene. Two bosses. We can stop opening Rebel Clash because we could not find Giovanni for the life of us. So really excited about that. So we'll do some Patreon openings as well. Reminder that we do have a Patreon page linked down below. And uh, we do have a special service where you can actually buy a product from me that will open for you on the channel. And we'll sell it at cost of what it costs us. Uh, however we pick it up through Game Nerds or places like MVP or eBay or whatever. Whatever we can find. And that will does include these Hidden Fates tins. I think the month of July will be the last month that we'll offer them at that $15 rate. Uh, it's getting, or basically it's impossible to find it under sub 20 at this point. So probably starting August we'll have to go with that $20 price mark. Although even on eBay they're going for like $35 which is pretty crazy. Alright, so far this tin is not very strong. You know, the most recent wave, uh, the theme has been, you get some a good amount of non-GX shinies, but those GX shinies are really hard to come by. Still haven't seen a Zard. Even having seen the G regular GX Zard, not that, not that I'm too eager to pull another one of those. Alright, let's see, we got Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Ooh, Giovanni's Exile. So at least we didn't get completely shut out. Got a full art supporter and a, a Voltorb shiny, super texturized. Uh, not too well centered. Same thing for Giovanni here. Regular sleeves for the both of them. But with that one pack, actually, that I guess that technically is the quota for a 10, looking for a 50% hit ratio. And uh, yeah, that's why we love Hidden Fates. That's why this set is probably going to be the most popular modern set for, I don't know, a while, I have to imagine. And last pack for the first 10. Then we're going to take a look at that fan mail. And here we go. We got a lightning energy. Reminder, we do stream on Twitch and YouTube, PTCGO, and actually the last stream was like pretty epic misplay, which was actually really funny. And actually another match, we got a reverse energy, another match where we actually ran out of time. Um, it That's the first time that's ever happened to me, and man, it's weird because... Even when you attack, like the animation, the clock is still ticking. And even, I think that's all we needed. We needed like one more second to finish our attack. <laughs> we actually would have won. But all right, let's get into this fan mail. Let's take a look. Uh, we got a Team Flare Grunt, pretty cool. And open this on, read this on YouTube. All right, let's start with this. Interesting about those gloves. I think it's used gloves before looking at first edition base Zard. A little curious I highly doubt it's a real Zard the things worth like thousands and thousands all right let's see dear Wanda turtle aka Wanda Tortuga oh, that was actually really fun I think that was like the the big the best part about unified minds for me actually I miss everyone in the Pokemon family thank you everyone in the fam for all the wonderful times because of health problems I took leave was not able to was not easy to do so. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope Discord is running well. Thank you, Turtle, for everything. Thank you, T-Bone. Thank you, Tim. I've never been one that's good with communication. Mother's Day, I had... Ooh, seizure. 
doing better now very very glad to hear that hope you are staying safe this 2020 hope hope work is well for you also any new pokemon sets you're looking forward to any chase cards you want to get thank you for being a friend and family sincerely pokemon lover 95 and dragonite pokemon lover thank you so much that was very generous of me um you know i i am looking forward to darkness of blades the interesting thing about that set is like i'm actually not sure i'm going to be opening too many booster boxes they do have that double pack which i don't think will age very well i'd rather have sealed booster boxes and then you know we can open up a lot of darkness of blades as well as sword and shield at the same time but thank you so much and let's see what else you got here and sorry to hear about the the health issues i hope everything is has improved since then uh, let's put this off to the side and look at this first. Uh, maybe we'll put on the gloves. <laughs> a little uh, open boosters action in case anyone's familiar with them or, or watches uh, Magic the Gathering openings. Alright, putting on gloves is actually pretty difficult. Look at this first. Alright, complete with instructions and everything. Thank you so much Pokemon Lover. Looks like we got a Japanese card. Uh, yeah, we'll take those out later. All right, first one, <laughs> Whale Lord Magikarp. I feel like this is going to be like just a lot of the themes throughout the channel. Uh, basically, during team up, man, we pull like every tag team. We could not pull this guy for the life of us, even after opening like a booster box worth of stuff. Tortuga, the reverse Tortuga, it does exist. Yeah, guys, pick a pick a uncommon and then try to pull the reverse, and it is surprisingly difficult. We also got a regular Tortuga as well. Thank you so much. And Caracosta. Actually a pretty cool card. Tool, uh, tool cards have no effect. I think it's just one in here. Oh, we got two uh, two copies of Caracosta as well. What is this? Look at this. Look at this card Look with other. Alright. Look at this with other card in this set. Hmm. I'm not sure I completely follow. Put this off to the side. And then we got a Squirtle. That's a very cute Squirtle. like that art. It's like another Japanese card behind here. Well, let me guess. War Turtle? Oh, that's another Squirtle. That's, oh, that's super cute. He's sleeping, taking a nap. Pull tab. <laughs> Look at this third. Oh. And then there's that War Turtle. Alright, I'm sensing a pattern. Thank you so much, Pokemon Lover. Really appreciate that and hope you are doing well. Look at this last card in the set. I'm gonna guess a Blastoise for this last one. Hey, oh what which what set is this from? I don't remember, but that is a pretty sweet art. He's actually using his hydro cannons. Alright, then we got some more Japanese cards. Hmm, which set has a which which language has a better back? I'm actually not sure. Ooh, Picaram, such a good card right now. You know, this is kind of like the one of the OG tag teams, and the fact that he is still super relevant, I think, is awesome. And then once they had that speed energy, kind of like put him over the top. We got Eevee Snorlax. Maybe we're gonna see all of the original tag teams. Marshadow Mod Champ. Actually, I've been seeing this every once in a while. Uh, a couple people on during our Twitch streams have been using them in court, like in some Mew three lists. And uh, yeah, that guy can actually do a huge amount of damage with all the Pika Roms. Uh, some one shot, one hit KOs with that 160, or even actually with the Revenge, where it does 120 to perfectly knock out a Pika Rom. Ven uh, Celebi Venusaur. Very nice. And then the Persian, I think this was, doesn't take damage from GX? GX or EX maybe? A buzz wall, very nice. Lycanroc, I think this is the one that causes you to switch maybe? On evolution? Marshadow, actually use this in Expanded. Thank you so much Pokemon Lover, really do appreciate it and 
yeah hope to see you again in the discord server guys uh, actually pokemon lover is the original kind of basically the founder of our discord channel link down below we use it to place uh post like a lot of our decks that as we're playing on twitch as well as just hangouts post a lot of like deals out there and as well as just keeping up to date with all the pokemon news all right the <laughs> the play from last night does involve this card shout outs to steven we had a epic match which was uh, actually not an epic match but <laughs> we got destroyed by steven all right we got the gloves on for looking at the first edition base zard pokemon lover 95 thank you so much i really appreciate it i think we we sent him a um a signed energy of our own so now we got one back from them so thank you so much i really appreciate it i'm actually going to take off the gloves for the rest of this hidden fates opening it's uh, a little sweaty and it's kind of awkward to use those but hope you are hope you're staying healthy and um yeah wish you the best and hope to talk to you soon all right here we go we got four more packs And I just want to say thank you to everyone that has become part of this turtle fam. I think it's awesome and you know I feel like I kind of when people would talk about like community at first it is kind of like hand wavy kind of corny kind of wishy-washy wishy-washy uh, but then you know it really has become a really tight community over on the discord and on twitch all the regulars thank you all for supporting the channel and just coming out and having fun with us it's truly a blast like I think I enjoy interacting with chat like that is what keeps me up to date on the meta you know I am not able I don't spend a whole lot of time to stay up to date myself it is while streaming that you guys keep me up to date and then we just have a lot of fun we actually don't play ladder <laughs> we just do viewer matches actually the, the newest trend is marbles and tournament takeovers working towards that players cup and just having fun see how many slots we can take in the tournament see how many turtles we can have in it cleave fable oh nice we did get a gold card tapu lele this is the first time we pulled this we pull I don't know, like six Bulus, one Coco, no Phoenix, and finally we got the best one, Lele. And oh, this is so confusing. The back looks perfectly centered, and I feel like, I don't think it's Edgeware. I think I see something towards the top, but I feel like the back is really centered. But then you look here, you can see like this, this margin is not perfect. So like, I wonder how difficult it is to get tens with this most recent print wave because the center is just confusing. And I guess it's a, a little bit off, but like the back looks pretty good. Then the front, you definitely notice it. So I'm not sure this will get a 10, but we're gonna put it in a penny sleeve. Uh, we already sent off huge submission off the PSA, so I'm not sure I'm gonna do another one anytime soon, but we'll have this ready. Huge hit right there. So this second tin was definitely better than the first. We still got two more packs. Even if we don't hit our quota, I am really happy with this opening. Finally pulled our first Lele. All right, can we get anything in the bonus? Koga LT Surge, a Chansey, Eevee. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna be opening up toolkits very soon. And I did get a good amount, so. Anyone over on Patreon that doesn't hasn't have their copies still need those Dedenes, definitely let me know. And a lot of exciting stuff coming in August with Darkness Ablaze. Alright, last pack for the opening. We got a Magmar, Misty's Gym, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, Electrode is our rare. Pokemon Lover95, thank you so much and hope to talk to you soon. And we got a shiny Magnezone to wrap up the opening. And this guy, nah, it doesn't look really well centered. But two hits, so we did hit our quota once again with a gold Lele. Definitely the highlight of this opening. Oh, not not including the, the mail, of course. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support on the channel. We have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. I want to do a kind of big video for coming upcoming stuff or upcoming features for the channel so stick tuned for that other than that guys thanks for watching i'm moana turtle like comment subscribe all down below peace
sure if this is correct, but I feel like at least forces... <laughs> oh, why do I think this has to be on your bench? I'm just gonna leave this here. I'm just gonna leave this here.